let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the official introductions. Herrera! Vivo! Good luck. Touch him up. Test Bivol and find out what Bivol is really all about. The uh, momentum in his favor that early. After he gets out of that first round danger. Makes a lot of sense. I can understand why he wants to avoid the any opponent Bivol has seen. Doesn't mean there aren't things your opponent can do with timing. Max, as we get ready for Sergey Kovalev, is considerably more prominent on a global level. Up and coming prospect, or up and coming light heavyweight. Yeah. Light heavyweight Gennady Golovkin, an athlete, and now a sense of urgency may emerge for Bivol, his right eye. You know, we wanted questions answered about Bivol already. Love the kind of punching I'm seeing from Bivol. Yeah. Herrera has a title belt, was less. Guys, did anyone see what caused spectacular amateur career for Bivol? Two straight wins. In the first two rounds, Bivol is averaging nine landed jabs per round. A responsible boxer puncher. They are over and over against Pereira. But landed with much. And he does that when he... Skillful amateurs and pros. We get two guys thinking high offense like that, the heads will come together. A head, shoulders, everything is coming forward. Holding his game together coherently. He is throwing and landing combinations. Three to nothing, 30 to 27, Dimitri Bivol. Combination, you know? He lands both shots. He lands the left jab, he lands the straight right hand. He lands the left hook that really wobbles by. Barrera. He <laughs> lands another head. left hook that wobbles Barrera. The straighter puncher, the better technician. Yeah. Sullivan is showing a good job of ending him constantly. If you went to the body saw him, he could counter him upstairs. He's running that wrist in away. See that? He's running that wrist in away, Jim. If you throw at his head, he's still like that right there. The question is, can he somehow tilt the fight in his favor via counterpunching? As he made Sullivan reach that hand forward, which is a beautiful shot. Then you see him correctly in the straight right hand. Wow. Barrera was trying to throw the left hook to the head. Boom, there's the right hand. So what I'm saying, Jim. It's over with. Like that. See, boom, 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 and it's over with. Bivol to Kovalev, who we'll see in the main event tonight, and who we're very familiar with throughout his vision, because Bivol has had to, you know, taste his own blood. Might have been on the belt line. That was a, There's a right hand right? upstairs. Barrera just walked in and ate it. None of those guys were nearly as quick-footed. Silly Lomachenko right now, I think. It, but Bivol, you see, has a very good understanding of it. Now, this time, Barrera gets the right hand through to the body. Hook upstairs. Fatigue right now. I started to say, the right hand was pretty good. Mm -hmm. Those are good here and there, but their punches, on the, for the most part, are about even now. Thing that Barrera, there's a little given Barrera into the body there moments ago. Maybe his best body shot. So He lands a left hook to the head right here. Great left hook right there on that cut. 60 to 54, Dimitri Bivol. How would he construct a knockout? Well, then try to come up and land something big over the top. Like that right hand right there. King Barrera back. There's another right hand for Bivol. How bad does Barrera want it? Because if he wants it bad enough, <laughs> oh, good shot. And that's why I say that right now, he can tell him how bad he really wants it. Because he still can win it if he wants. We've never seen Bivol at this point in a fight. Well, if we thought Bivol might have been slowing down a little bit in the last round, I want to beg the difference. Barrera's jab. First couple rounds, Jim, that would have caused some issues right now. That was a good try for a good right hand to the right. has a pretty good jab. How big a problem is it? Not only that, but Bivol also keeps his hands up very high, and he has quick hands. Max Kellerman correct in saying that. Tested physically in a way. The fighter who got the worst of that headbutt. <laughs> the hand speed from fighters who can put punches together like this with the velocity and the style and the effect that Dimitri Bivol is creating in there. The eighth round only a few times. It's that equation. Bivol, uh, in his last several fights, as he appears to try to get just a little breather, to which Bivol had to react. Oh, and now he comes back with a hard right hand of his own. By the way, even if you're thinking, well, yeah, but Barrera's done his damage with his head, 
you know, ring savvy has kept him, you know, upright in this fight. Okay, Jim, I got a 90 to 81, nine rounds to nothing, Dimitri Bivol. Bull's physical qualities, the speed, the quickness, the punching power. In rounds six, seven, and eight, he slowed just a little. He went from boxer puncher who might knock you out with any shot. Yes, A little less dangerous with the shots. Yes. Maybe Bivol should throw more to the body. And especially since the first two I felt were really purely accident. That's kind of who Barrera is. And it was say he punches right there. He brings his hip. Barrera. A couple of good moments for Barrera oh, there. Good body shot. 268 wins and 15 losses as an amateur. He would have been more impressive to many in room for improvement. But oh, yeah. good body shot. What a body shot oh, by Bivol. Yes. Perfectly timed. Hey! Right. Them. A little bit younger, quicker, and more vibrant in there tonight. Oh, uh, listen, you know for how many years you turn on Bivol, Barrera, better be as you want to see more American champions. We have to get our amateur. Oh, down goes Barrera, and you can see Bivol thinking to himself, right. is Harvey Dock gonna let him continue? No, it's a stoppage. And Bivol gets the TKO in round number 12. And lands the knockout punch, closes the show. Well, I think I said to you, Roy, earlier in the round, he's still looking for the knockout. Yes, he and was. he got it. He was still looking for the knockout with that right hand. And I told you earlier when you said that maybe he had went back into boxing mode. No, when he sees the opportunity, he goes at it with authority, just like he did right here. So if he sees an opportunity, he still was trying to get a knockout. And he finally got it. We don't even have to talk. Dimitri.